So in this video, we're going to learn about basic rational exponents. Um, your objective is that you can write a rational exponent as a root and vice versa, and then you can simplify expression with simple rational exponents. This is kind of combining your roots and your exponent sections together in the next three videos. So a rational exponent is a fraction as a power in an exponent expression. So here we have rational exponents. We have our base, which is 8, but our exponent is actually a fraction. Here we have our base y, and then we have another exponent fraction. Before this, we've only dealt with um, integers as our exponents, positive and negative numbers, like 2 to the 4th. So from the activity, you should have discovered this, that if I have x to the 1nth, well, if I want to write this as a root, the n is your index, the x is your radicand. The question is, where does the 1 go? Well, the 1 is actually the exponent right here. So here, to kind of reverse it, this is y to the first. So the y is your base to the exponent expression. The 1 is your numerator. And the index is your denominator. So g over h. So this is your radicand. This is g over h. b is your index, and it's to the first power. Here, my base, I have my radicand a over b, so my base is a over b. My numerator of my radical expression is 1, because this is to the first power and then my bases or my denominator is k. All right, so we're going to use that to rewrite these expressions. We do not have to simplify. So if I have the fifth root of 7, we can write this as 7 to the 1 fifth. The index is my denominator and this is my base. Here I have two things under the radicand. So I have a base of 30, y to the third. And then my index is 2, because it's a square root. So this is to the 1 half. Here on c, I have 6 thirteenths as my base. And then my exponent is 1 third. The 1 from here, and then the 3 is my index. All right, so we're going to rewrite the expressions of root and then simplify. So we're going to rewrite it into something we're more familiar with and simplify from there. So if I have 1 third 27, if I want to write this as a root, I need my index. The index is the denominator of the exponent is 3. And then my radicand is 27. Um, and then you can either do your factor trees or if you know your perfect cubes, um, we'll make it faster. But if I break this down, I have three threes. So this equals three. Nobody got left inside. On E, I have 32. And my index is 5. So I need 5 of something to go outside. Well, 32 is 16 and 2. 4 and 4. 2, 2. 2, 2, so I have 5, 2, so this equals 2. Last two examples, 16 to the 1 fourth is 4 root 16. This is 4 and 4, 2, 2, 2, 2, so I have 2, and then I have minus, and then I have 121 to the 1 half, which is a square root. 121. Hopefully you can do this one in your head, but the square root of 121 is 11. 2 minus 11 is negative 9. And then this one shall be in parentheses. 343 and 64 to the 1 3rd power. Um, so that is the cube root of 343 over 64. 343 over 64, we can remember split it up, we're allowed to do that. 
and we're going to see what we can pull outside. This simplifies nicely. 343, I believe, is divisible by 7, which makes this 49, and then I have 7 and 7. So my numerator, I have 7, and down here I can go 8 and 8, 2 and 4, 2 and 4, 2 and 2. So I get 2's and 2's, which is 4, so it's 7 fourths. Notice everything has simplified down to a nice integer, and that will, um, will happen on your homework too. And this kind of helps you get familiar with the major perfect squares, um, perfect cubes, and then roots, fourth roots, fifth roots, things like that. So review, a rational exponents are roots. So anytime you see a fraction in your exponent, this means it is a root. If it has a nice number, like 2 to the squared, this is a non-root. So every, we're going to kind of do roots with exponents. Remember your rules from earlier sections. These are come more and more in play as we do the other two videos. Reminder to do reflection so you get credit for watching this video.